Yeah, I know, right? It's finally done. Yes, that's right guys. Today we're gonna go over how to wire our SCR controller. It's finally done. I've been working on this thing for months. We're gonna dive headfirst right into it. Just a little disclaimer here guys, I'm not a licensed electrician. I know enough to get myself in trouble here. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been in the field for quite a while, but I am not a licensed electrician. If you don't feel comfortable handling this kind of stuff, don't dive into it. It's a little bit advanced. I suggest that you find somebody that is licensed to help you out. Now before we get started here, there are a few things I want to go over. The brains of this operation is these solid state relays. I have six of them in this box. It controls all of our elements and our plugs. If you don't know what these are, go ahead and look these up. But basically it's a big switch that's activated by 12 volt. Now what I used, for my switches are these 12 volt locking LEDs. These things are awesome. I got them on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. Now for both of our thermocouplers in this box, I used a standard aviation connector. These things are awesome guys. I also got these on Amazon. They screw right into your box and they just plug right in. You, uh, you do have to solder these. It is a soldered connection on both sides. But I mean, as you can see, they pull apart and plug back into each other nice and simply. They screw on tight and lock in. Now the next thing we're gonna go over are some terminal blocks. These terminal blocks, guys, they're eight places, they're 40 amps. Uh, you need nice terminal blocks to make this thing work. You don't want them overheating and melting in your box. Now you need six terminal blocks all together, two for the positive and negative on your 12 volt side and four for each leg of your 220 coming from your breaker box. I know you guys really want to see an in-depth wiring tutorial on all of this stuff. There's a lot of stuff and information out there that you guys can use on YouTube and on forums. This is fairly easy to wire together with just a little bit of knowledge, do some research, you can get it up. Now, I am gonna show you how I wired this and put this thing together. There is some soldering involved, there's a few things, you know, wiring and splicing. I used a lot of heat shrink, but I tried to do this the best I could. This box for me is awesome. It's better than anything I could have ever imagined. It turned out good. I did a custom paint job on it, which I didn't show you guys. If you're interested in seeing how I painted this thing, let me know. I can show you, but basically it was a template with a rattle can, a pretty easy paint job. So with that being said, let's jump into the wiring. All right guys, so this is basically what we're gonna use. Um, this will be what is considered our motherboard tray. This will sit on standoffs in the back of our box. Over here we have four distribution blocks. We're gonna use those for the four poles of our 220 coming in. This will be our SCR controller. Over here will be our 220 to 12 volt converter. And up here will be our two blocks for our 12 volt controls. And then our SCR bank will be right here. Inside the box, we have a fan mounted right here that's gonna suck up all the heat that's, per that's made by these SSRs. So, that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna get started here. I'm gonna record some stuff with just kinda drilling and tapping all this stuff out and uh, kinda how we go about making this thing work.
All right, guys, I've gotten a lot of questions on how to wire an SCR controller. It's literally this simple. If you guys still are struggling with this, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can with an answer. All right, guys, if you learned something here today, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. If you want to see some of the behind the scenes stuff in the bloopers, go ahead and stroll on over to our Patreon page at www.patreon.com forward slash The Proof Room. As always, have an awesome week.